And then Orange is the New Black. How was that experience for you? Um, that was amazing. Uh, another weird one where, uh, you know, it was Netflix. So at the very beginning of Netflix, yeah, I, I, was, I had this yeah. interesting history of like <laughs> catching right. these services right at the beginning, right? <laughs> It was their first show. Well, uh, uh, the Kevin Spacey one came first. Right, yeah, House of Cards. Uh, House of Cards. Right. And we were right after that. Correct. Right? And, and House of Cards hadn't been released. So it was we were making them. They were going to come out first. We yes. were making this tiny little show about women's prison, right? Women in prison. Yes. Women of all different types and sizes and colors, right? At the time, now it's like, oh, yeah, that's what TV is, right? But at the time, it was like, who's going to watch this? This is this is not. Is there going to be an audience for this? Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people, as we were making it, were feeling that like let's, that's cool. Like let's let's make it and see what happens. But um, uh, and I was in an interesting part of my career too. I had I had had two kids at that point. Had uh, done a couple of network shows and was really in this place where you know to pay the bills or whatever. I was like the guy from The Wire, man. I started my career on The Wire, and it's now I've now I, the, it, right before Orange Is the New Black, I had been fired from a CBS pilot uh, that went to series without me. And it was, I won't, I won't name any names, mm -hmm. but it was not great, you know? And I was the guy from this great television show who was now getting fired from <laughs> CBS procedurals that were not great. And, uh, and Orange is the New Black, I, I just kind of, Genji, I had done weeds with her. Yes. And she called me up and was like, I got this little part on, on this uh, women's TV show. Um, would you come in and, and try on a mustache for me and see if it works? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try on a mustache, Genji. Sure. We tried it. It worked. And uh, Creepy, I'll be honest. Very creepy. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'll up. be honest. That was, the, that was the point. That was the whole point. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and, and the hair, it wasn't just the mustache, it was the hair. The whole thing. I walked in, I was like, give me the Dolph Lundgren cut from Rocky IV. <laughs> right? And they were like, hey, easy, done. It was, a, it was a vibe. With a porn stash, boom. Uh, and, you know, and the rest is history. Obviously, that show became hugely successful and, um, and, and exceeded everybody's expectations and kind of hit... And so that was like the second building block for me uh, to, to kind of move forward and, and get to have a bit of a, another chance. And on Paramount Plus, which is, not, if I'm not mistaken, a very CBS-centric uh, organization in a way too, right? It is. And also, how about this? A sort of new streaming service Look just about to build Look and uh, take off. That's what you do for a living, man. Listen, I this make streaming you services. You do. You make, well, you, you, make, you make dreams come true. You make them come true. You're welcome, HBO and Netflix and, and, and Paramount+. Paramount Plus. Plus. Yes. Guys, I'm here for you. You are indeed. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.